Hi, and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, we've got some really big and interesting news to cover off in regards to crypto. I think this could be the start of some fantastic changes in the crypto space, and we're going to dig into all of that. We're going to also touch on the fact that altcoins have pulled back with the uh, Fed announcement and really what we should be expecting. I really want to dig into this because, you know, really my thoughts and opinions were that everything should be pumping right now. We had a pause, but it was a pause with a twist and something that I wasn't expecting. So we're going to dig into all of that. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on what we should be expecting when it comes to Bitcoin and the altcoins as we uh, get through this video if you enjoy this sort of content mash up the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video right let's get down to the desktop okay so we're going to start here and this is a pretty big deal blackrock close to filing for bitcoin etf application according to sources blackrock will be using coinbase custody for the etf and the crypto exchanges spot market data for pricing according to this source so this is um really interesting stuff and uh look i think that this could bring in some more adoption for cryptocurrency so we're seeing lots of attacks from the government from the sec within the us on cryptocurrency but actually overall i think we should be expecting some really phenomenal progress over the coming weeks and months i really do feel bullish on cryptocurrency uh, long term but in the short to medium term i do think that we're going to have an awful lot of volatility you know and it goes without saying it's a volatile market and you do risk losing all of your money if you don't invest using your own research so make sure that you're utilizing great risk management in the space check out cheekyschool.com for risk management courses and stuff like that really want to make sure people are doing what they should be doing when it comes to making investment decisions obviously we're not financial advisors to so treat this as educational purposes only there's no substitute for doing your own research so go away and do that research I, uh, honestly there's just no substitute for it so um for me everything um coming out uh from, from blackrock and uh, various other um you know firms like blackrock you know jp morgan for example they are clearly really bullish on blockchain technology and we're going to be seeing this all move forward and obviously they're not bothered about the the, the lawsuit from the sec with coinbase if they're going to be utilizing Coinbase for custody and spot market data. So, um, look, I think this stuff is really important, and we need to we need to monitor this sort of stuff and and take note of what is actually happening in the space. I talk about this a lot on the podcast in our Patreon members AMAs, which we do twice a week. We talk about you know the the things that we should be looking for, and this is you know just a taste of just some of those things we need to be looking at. You know, what are they actually doing? The actions. They speak far louder than words. And we you know, we talk about this an awful lot. We've got Ripple. They don't seem to be hindered either with the uh, lawsuit uh, from the SEC. Again, another partnership here. And again, for me, this is a fantastic thing to, to see. And again, it's showcasing the fact that nobody really gives a shit about these lawsuits. Nobody cares about gary gensler and his own personal agenda and the powers that you know are this puppet's master so nobody gives a shit about any of that stuff fundamentally if you just look at the actions of some of the biggest players in the world blockchain technology is the next iteration of absolutely everything and you know i don't know whether there's really been any sort of uh, form of opportunity like this in history the closest thing might have actually been you know the birth of the internet and all of those internet you know companies like amazon google and uh, you know those apple would be another one all these online um, companies that started selling their products online 
uh, and utilizing search engines and stuff like that that is going to be the closest uh, opportunity to what this is blockchain technology and cryptocurrency and altcoins so for, for me, this is the biggest opportunity that we're ever going to see in our lifetimes uh, to build generational level wealth and, you know, improve the lives of many DeFi, micro loans, transfer of, you know, uh, funds around the world. All of this stuff is going to be far easier, far more accessible, even, you know, getting online, you know, being connected is going to change many people's lives you'd be surprised how many people in the us are not connected that don't have banks don't have identification these are things that a lot of people watching this video take for granted that a lot of people still don't have and uh you know it's a crazy number when you actually break it down i encourage people to go research it and uh all of these um you know issues that we have currently are all going to be resolved by blockchain technology the question is which blockchains are going to perform the best and do and achieve most of the uh, things that they set out to, to achieve and resolve these real world issues for me that's where my focus is my focus is always on looking at you know uh, what i believe the world will look like in the future and actually where do some of these blockchain companies fit within the future world that i perceive we will have so you know i think there's many things that we've covered off ai we were covering two years ago you know personal data is another and um you know we were talking on a spaces a twitter spaces with bitget jamie from from bitget highlighting personal data again fantastic privacy is another and i think you know the likes of findora midnight when it goes live from charles hoskinson these sorts of projects are going to be groundbreaking world mobile connecting the unconnected meld with their DeFi products connecting you know people with opportunities with micro loans and being able to transfer money around and just loads of really positive real world things v chain with supply chain fraud protect, uh, protection uh, when it comes to you know counterfeiting and stuff like that there is just so much you know opportunity for these projects out there um, and it's going to be really interesting to see which ones succeed and which ones don't uh, and for me i really want to make sure that our community is on the right side of things and i think we've done a fantastic job in this bear market called ftx we called most of these lower lows and um, yeah look really excited about what's going to happen in the coming weeks and months um so yeah look um coinbase announcing the uh partnership uh with a wallet here again just fantastic stuff we've got hong kong and this i think is a major breakthrough uh hong kong puts pressure on three major banks to take on crypto exchanges as clients according to this report um this is really really interesting the likes of hsbc Ch uh, standard charter and the bank of china all having pressure put on them to take on crypto clients you know exchanges and so forth i think that we're going to start to see a real revolution when it comes to you know what the governments uh, are pushing agenda wise when it comes to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology i think we're going to see a, a big u-turn and i think we're going to start to see some real positive um you know regulations uh, put out there the eu to consult on crypto um complaints conflict of interest rules in july again more really important stuff and i think what i would uh take from from all this stuff is they're talking about it they're getting to the table shit is about to happen and you know this is this is actions this isn't just words this isn't people just coming out talking about you know we want to be pro crypto this is we want to be pro crypto we want to really support innovation within our country let's get around a table and let's get to it and this is the stuff that i think we need to be paying attention to it's it's actions right it's not just words and that is the point that i am poorly 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 trying to articulate to you all now micro strategy founder michael saylor says bitcoin could grow to 80 percent of of crypto market after the sec uh lawsuit uh, against binance and coinbase look like i'm just gonna say it as i see it this guy is talking out of his ass he clearly is way off with his uh view and his assessment he is such a maxi when it comes to, to bitcoin he is completely missing the opportunities that lie 
around bitcoin you know when it comes to the likes of altcoins these sorts of people are perhaps just a little bit too old and a little bit too set in their ways to really understand and actually be open-minded enough to see the opportunities that are there maybe i'm wrong maybe just talks and just you know it's just for clicks i don't know but what i would say is i i think this is this couldn't be further from the truth um altcoins are going to be you know taking a far bigger percentage of the market cap of the total crypto than 80 percent like i think that you know in time bitcoin will probably be around 20 maybe 30 percent of the entire market ethereum will probably be you know slightly higher than a lot of the altcoins initially to start off with but there are going to be some fantastic projects that come to the table that really change and innovate and uh you know bring in that mass adoption uh, i think that you know we're not quite there yet i've talked about infrastructure i've talked about the fact that it needs to be seamless people need to be using blockchain technology but not even knowing it and we're not there yet right people are still losing their crypto sending it on the wrong network we're not there yet but it goes to show how early we are and it goes to show that everybody's got an opinion my, my thoughts and opinions are everybody's got uh, an opinion they're like arseholes right everybody's got an arsehole everybody's got a, an opinion and ultimately we don't always have to agree and see eye to eye it's great for for debates and, and that side of things but like i think this stuff sometimes it's just for clicks um i don't believe that uh bitcoin will will grow to 80 percent of the the crypto market uh, and i think the sec lawsuits could actually be a really positive thing particularly for the altcoins that have been called out it could provide the called out cryptocurrencies or altcoins with clarity they might all be deemed securities or they might all be deemed non-securities and regardless of you know which way that goes i think they'll go on to, to do really well clarity for me is just so important we get clarity with regulations we get clarity with what a crypto is is whether it's a commodity whether it's a, a currency whether it's a uh, a security like you know all of this is really really positive stuff in the long term in the short term the market's going to be volatile and uh, i'm okay with that are you let me know in the comments below um cyber crime i like to to keep an eye on what all these scummy horrible uh, bastards are doing in the space when it comes to to the scammers you know we've got a fantastic team but you know um there there is potentially a hidden agenda here cyber criminals are turning to crypto mining pools to wash uh their um you know ill-gotten um funds according to this article and for me this could just be you know the start of another agenda time will tell let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below i don't think the you know scammers are you know, washing their money with you know mining pools and stuff like that they're using the you know the the, the tumblers and and those sorts of uh websites uh and d apps that you know make it almost impossible to find out you know that it's from crime i don't think you get the same sort of level of uh you know result from from using a mining pool so i think it's bs but i do think they could potentially be the start of you know these um these uh dinosaur like um government officials starting to believe that you know if you put crypto in a pool uh that you know when it comes out nobody knows that that was uh that was ill gotten gains uh, and i just think that's just bs but these dinosaur like individuals in government in high positions that have no idea what they're talking about will probably you know latch onto that we'll see whether i'm right or whether i'm wrong um, but i do think it's something we should monitor i hope you enjoyed today's video really trying to uncover, uh, cover the most important content uh, that is you know out there at the moment the most important stuff that you need to be kept up to date on if you enjoyed today's video mash up the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care